Hello. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jeremy Regeer of Cougar Ridge Computer Systems, a laser fish reseller in Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be talking about laser fish workflow, laser fish forms, and laser fish quick fields. These are three advanced automation tools that we can use to craft advanced business processes. In this demo, I will show you an overview of an accounts payable uh, automation demo that we have crafted to give you an idea of the, how we can put the LaserFiche advanced tools to work for you to automate and streamline real world business processes. Of important note is that these are only samples. Your process will look different. And during the overview demo, I want you to think about how your particular business processes could look in this format. In other words, this is not one size fits all. We bring our tools to your business process and by creating this demo, we're simply showing you a visual representation of what it might look like. Let's begin. Our demo today begins in LaserFish Forms. LaserFish Forms is an easy to develop, easy to use electronic forms tool that can collect information from people inside or outside your organization and can be used for internal processes or in place of uh, forms that otherwise would have been uh, used externally or with, with PDF forms or even paper forms. So if you can start to think of the possibilities of how forms can, could be used within your organization. They may be replacing physical forms processes now, or it might simply be a convenient way to collect information. In this part of the demo, we will use a form for an internal employee to request uh, a purchase of equipment. We will have that approved by a manager, and then finally we will store the the completed purchase order in LaserFish. And as a final step, we will receive the, the completed uh, purchase order or the equipment that was ordered uh, with a receiver. And that will complete the first part of this demo. As you can see, LaserFish Forms presents a very easy to use, very streamlined and lightweight form. This will present well on desktop web browsers and will even scale itself very well for mobile clients. We can fill in fields and make fields required very simply. Uh, we can have uh, fields that pre-populate, in this case a date field that automatically populates with today's date. We can have larger fields that, uh, that provide information about what we're supposed to fill in with little pop-outs even, uh, like telling me that this, uh, please fill in this field. And in this case, I'm going to say that I need uh, to buy new office chairs. Uh, we can even provide fields that are, that are dynamic, that control uh, the viewing of other fields. So you can present simple forms that only open up more complex options as certain items are checked or, or, or chosen. In this case, I will say, no, we're not necessarily time sensitive. If I were, I would be presented with another date field with a, a nice date picker. So it becomes very easy to fill out. And the reason for my request in this case I'm required to fill that out is, uh, uh, we'll just say that the chair is broke. And I can submit this request. And that submits the first part of the form. What happens next is we'll check our email. LaserFish forms can be used uh, to send email uh, notifications about steps that are being required to be taken. In this example, Paul of the purchaser has been sent a notification that somebody submitted a request to purchase uh, new, uh, a new item in our company. The email can contain dynamic information about the item, uh, the, the information on the form. So it's given me the, the name of the person that had requested this. And it gives us a link to open this task in forms. This takes us to uh, an approval step that the 
uh, this particular user, Paula Purchaser, needs to review and, uh, and do something. So it gives us an action history. It tells us the, the process information that's currently going on. And we can review this, this form. Now you can see that Paula is presented with a different view and more information. Information that was entered by the person submitting the form is no longer editable. So these, these uh, uh, fields are now read-only. Um, and now Paula has additional fields of information. So at each step, the form can take on different information. In this case, Paula chooses from a drop-down box, and we can see another, uh, the, the dynamic field can open up another um, a window here, and to show that we can, through drop-down boxes, the form can actually do external database lookups and pull information, in this case, out of our accounting database that we already know about this vendor, and so we can have that information included in the form. Uh, we can retrieve uh, information from other types of databases, but this is an example. Paula fills in the number of chairs or the number of items that we, she wishes to order. And she can put in uh, additional field information. And the fields can even be set to, to uh, calculate subtotals. If we had additional items, we can create uh, very easy to use multi-line fields. So if you have forms that need to collect multiple uh, listings, that's easy enough to do with uh, drag and drop. In this case, we'll just have a single line of information. Uh, these fields is totaled up from the subtotal, so we can provide uh, field calculations. And Paula can approve this request. If we go back to our email, we'll see that a new person has been, uh, a new person has been involved. In this case, forms made a decision because the order was over $1,000. Our process determined that we needed a, a manager, Molly manager, to be involved in approving this process. So we can make decisions on what to do next in the process based on the information in the form. And so Molly has been asked to, to come in and have a quick look at this task and determine whether uh, this is something that a manager can approve. And she can see the previous history of this and uh, who approved it and review it. Now, she doesn't have the option to change the information in this form, but she can review it and either approve or reject it. In this case, she says, yeah, we need some more office chairs, and that's a good price. So she approves the, the purchase. What we're going to do at this point is go into LaserFish and show how uh, Forms has interacted with the repository. If I browse into accounting, and I look at uh, the particular vendor involved here, I can see that a new uh, purchase order has been created. Now, in here, I can see that my uh, Laserfish fields have been uh, set here. My column views have been set to, to view information from the document itself. So I can have a very customized view uh, of these particular purchase orders. I can see the amounts. I can see the dates involved, whether they've been paid or not. If I double click it, it will open in the document viewer. And we can see that LaserFish workflow in this case has uh, received this information from forms and has filled out uh, a LaserFish or a Adobe PDF rather that's a fillable PDF form and it's created this, this um, visible uh, form version of, the, uh, of this particular process. I'm going to go back into forms at this point and show you that we can view uh, forms tasks in the browser itself instead of relying simply on emails. In this case, the receiver is looking to receive the completed uh, or the, the, the shipped or, or approved product, and he's going to mark off the quantities as he receives them. He can view the pending tasks uh, in the forms web browser himself. So if I click this instance, it's now assigned to the receiver, and he can view the product that's, uh, that's waiting to be received. He can fill in the quantity received, which is the required field he's looking to fill in, that the chairs have arrived, and he can say that the full shipment has been received. At this point, his work is done. Back in the LaserFish client, we can see that the form has been updated uh, live to show that those quantities have now been received. What we've shown you in this portion of the demo is that LaserFish forms can be used to create very simple and elegant 
uh, forms processes that can help streamline otherwise cumbersome business processes. We can take that information, we can fill in Adobe PDF forms to get visual representations of the forms. These can be pre-configured or forms that you are already using if you have them, uh, or they can be forms that we create for you. Uh, additionally, then, forms can be used to notify the people involved in any given part of the process, and it can be a dynamic, um, dynamic decisions depending on the information in the forms. In this example, we had a manager involved in an approval process, but that was only because the, the amount of the, of the request was over a certain dollar amount. So we can also customize that dynamic. We can do dynamic lookups and re, uh, retrieve information into forms from other databases so we can reduce the amount of data that you have to enter in these processes. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we will cover the next step of this demo process uh, in use of Laserfish Quick Fields. Thank you.